what attracted you about Longmont because this is a, as they say, a fair piece from South Carolina well, and Kentucky. Well, our client base is all over the country. We have um, client existing clients um, as far south as Mexico and through Canada. Um, the good portion, the regional airlines, we do a lot of business with SkyWest out of St. George, Utah, Horizon out of Washington State, uh, Mesa out of Phoenix. Uh, so this provided us another um, spot for those customers to um, fly their airplanes in. And there was also a need uh, for an avionics shop and general aviation mods. And we felt that there was an opportunity here at Longmont as well. The, lo the runway length was sufficient for our existing plan, though we do hope to see the runway extended. Tell us about plans for expansion. Uh, we are looking at building a new terminal with a larger hangar um, to um, one anticipation of an extended runway, but also to increase the avionics mod so that we can get an airplane in. Right now, we um, flight options was in several weeks ago. We can get a Phenom. 300 in the hangar here, um, but it's tight, so we want uh, a place that we can, you know, do mods, that we can o hangar larger airplanes overnight, especially in the winter, and things like that. The uh, building, the new terminal, we're looking at somewhere between four and 5,000 square feet uh, for a new office space, flight school, flight planning, um, catering, lounge, you know, a real first class uh, facility. Right now, we're already out of hangar space, even with, with the, the two, the three that we have. Because we, you know, in addition to our existing, you know, fueling operations, we do have a flight school with 10 airplanes, so we have to keep the maintenance up on those. So between our existing airplanes and our transient airplanes, we are, we are already at capacity on hangar space.